Okay, we got some new parts today. Water pump showed up. That's the whole housing water pump to replace the one I broke. And I'll show you the details of that when we put that on. And motor mount. Well, this motor mount is actually the motor mount insert. So we have to take the bracket off and then I will take it to work and press this motor mount into the bracket. So we need to get in there tonight and get the motor mount and bracket out of there and that's kind of a fun job so I'll show you that. Let's get set up. So that motor mount lives inside that bracket. There's a Allen bolt right there. Pretty sure there's one below it. There he is. And there's a hex bolt right here. So, what we need to do is chop off your favorite six millimeter Allen wrench and make a little bit out of it and then use a hex wrench and turn that thing out because there's no other way to get it out of there. Obviously, we're going to uh, have to support the engine somehow, so we can go ahead and do that now. Floor jack, block of wood. Oil pan. Just take a little weight off of it. That's probably about what it should look like when it's new. Not like that. All right. Let me get some tools together and we'll get that thing out of there. Yeah, yeah, I know there's shell over the bench. I can't find any chopped off Allen wrenches. Apparently this one has donated itself a few times. So we'll just chop off another little chunk. Call. It needs to be pretty short. I do have safety glasses on, by the way. Hold your ears. <laughs> oh, where to go? All right, let me find that. I cut another one, couldn't find it. So that's what we have left of that thing and that is warm. All right, back to the car and get you set up and we'll get that thing off there. So this one, just a 13 hex bolt. think this thing will fish out of there without having to remove the this distributor sprocket but not positive so there's that bolt let me get you set up where you can see that hex bolt down there and these close quarter jobs can be a little bit of a pain. I don't know how to make that better. That's the bowl we're after. Get some crap off of it. The idea is to take this little piece of Allen bit that I've chopped off. You've got to get it. You have to get it in that hex right there. I don't remember if we have better access to the bottom one or if we have to do the same thing. I really don't remember how I did this before. I'm gonna bet all you're gonna see is the back of my hand. So 
So the idea is you have to put that little piece of bit. Bitch, I'm going to drop it too in that Allen. I'm going to turn you guys off for a minute and I'm going to get that thing in there and I'll bring it back. Okay, I jacked up the engine a little bit. I have it in there. I have this six millimeter wrench on it. All right, it turned. Now we're going to do this for a while. I'm going to employ the same method down here. I don't think I can get a true bit in there. I'm gonna do is that busting a knuckle. Ah. Hmm. That one does not want to turn. Let's make sure that's in there all the way. piece of pipe or tubing will be ideal, but let's try a socket. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Ah. But it turned. Alright. I don't see any blood yet. Alright, we'll get that backed out of there. If you can see this or not, the actual bolt that goes through is a 17. Which by comparison is pretty easy. So that's a little comparison what that should actually look like. So that thing is sagged down that far. So I need to take this, get this out of here, press the new one in. I can't do that in the vise and I don't have a press here so I will take this to work with me. And hopefully get that thing changed out tomorrow. One thing I did notice I need to do a little more pondering on is this crank pulley. Normally these seals never leak, but there's an awful lot of gunk around that. The cam one looks fine, which I think is actually the same seal, or the jack shaft. So, I may look into ordering that seal and going ahead and replacing that. While we're here, I'll take the jack shaft sprocket off, pull that cover, there's a gasket behind there, pull some oil pan, you know, it won't be too bad, but just debating whether I want to wait that long. So I will see what I can find and how quick I can get that thing. Okay, so we have the new water pump. Looks to be correct. You can see where I screwed up and ran the bolt up in there and blew that piece of the water pump out. Anyway, that is a Saw it somewhere as a true VW water pump. So that thing could possibly be the original. 
here's the new one aftermarket the piece not blown out typically you can just take off you have to pull the timing cover timing belt off but you can take off just the water pump a lot of times these bolts will break off but usually once you get the housing off you can back them out with vice grips typically you don't break the housing but anyway this whole setup with the housing and water pump was like $34 so I'm not feel too bad get you set up and we'll get the thermostat put in it which will be a lot easier here on the ground we'll get it put in the car and we'll change some hoses so the water pump sits in the car on the engine like this the thermostat goes on the bottom and faces that way drops in like that This came with two new O-rings, so that's nice. Let's put a little bit of oil on them. New thermostat drops in. New thermostat drops in. That's the Aaron bolt that went up through there I just missed the housing I filed that little ridge off but this is what seals it I had already put NICs on the bolts and that o-ring We'll go in there and that's what seals it to the block. Got new hoses today, so we will go work on getting those changed. Got this hose. Open this bag. Okay, I can believe that for the lower. for the, I guess you'd call it a bypass hose. That looks to be correct. And this hose to be the other one. That looks a little... I can't go that way. How about that? That looks a little more. Alright, so that should fit also. Captured my glove. There's that one. swapped over and then we'll put these back on so sure about is this one 
it's awful loose on there and I can't really get the clamp around it of course, these clamps are a huge pain anyway so let me try one more time getting tight on there. I'm gonna have to work with that a little bit, I'm afraid. Let's get this water pump in here. You know how well this will work. I have greased that O-ring and put it in the slot. Previous attempt, it fell out. Still in there. on some better camera positioning apparatus. These under hood shots are a little difficult because you can't get a tripod up here so you're like kind of too far back. You work on something to get up and over, kind of cantilever in. And then these two bolts down here, the bracket that goes on will hold them on. So, let's see. Of course, the clamp I need is underneath the camera. So let me reposition you yet again, and we'll get these hoses on. Well, it was one of the easier events of the night. Right, now for the lower radiator hose. To this one from below. Maybe a little lubricant assistance. 